part one of the vest suspension, we assembled one side of the harness following the wraparound instructions. Off camera, I assembled the opposite side. I'm going to show you on the paper pattern exactly how to do this. First, you take your yoke and your vest strap and you place them face sides together. You line the two seam allowances up. So this actually is at an angle when you're going to stitch it. You're going to line those up and you're going to stitch right along the seam allowance. Once that's stitched, you can unfold it and you'll have nice sweeping lines of the two pieces that are assembled. To keep this flat, you just run a stitch right along this edge so your underside will have a nice clean fold with no raw edges to catch your shirt. The last thing we'll do to finish this is you just get a small piece of half inch webbing and you'll lay it across this seam and then tack it down within your seam allowances. The next thing to do is to add some binding to this and the binding is important because it stabilizes not only your raw edges, but also the stretch of this material. So there's a few options for bindings. Along the inside, where it's going to touch your neck around this yoke, I highly recommend Peck Stretch Binding. This is a stretchy material, and it has a soft side as well as a rubbery side. This is very similar to the type of binding you would have on the, like the armhole of a fleece where they would have the soft side out. On the outsides, and even down here where you're going to be putting your sternum strap, you want a, a binding that doesn't stretch. This is a one inch grow grain, you could do three quarter inch. I think, you know, I've only ever found this tech stretch in one inch. So I just use the one inch grow grain just because I can attach these. And as I come down here, it'll be a nice clean finish as I go down with the grow grain. I definitely do the grow grain on the outside. Okay, so now to do some binding. So first of all, there's some tools that you can use to make your life a little easier here with attaching this binding to the bag. I did this whole bag by hand. Use a uh, double-sided tape, this bias binding tape again. Look in the description if you want a video that really goes into more detail on best practices for attaching the binding and using the, the tape. But just to speed this along, I'm gonna use a binding attachment. Okay, so we did one side and you see that I came down and I stopped the binding right past this zipper. So now I'm going to do the inside of the yoke. And again, I'm going to start with my stretch binding to come around here. And then I'll stop the stretch binding where the pocket is. I'll switch over back to the grow grain and continue the binding straight down the pocket. On this pack, I'm gonna bring the grow grain all the way around underneath the zipper along this raw edge to where I did my rib pocket overcasting. If you want a nice clean transition between your tech stretch and your grow grain, the way you do this is you put your face sides together at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna do a straight stitch right across these corners and then you'll trim this excess away and pull it flat. Okay, so I think you should be able to see that, right? That I did my 90 degree turn and then I stitched right along the 45. So now I'm gonna trim off the excess. Now what you have, you've got a nice diagonal turn on the face side and you can fold those together. And that gives you a nice clean finish, extending your binding or connecting two different types of binding together. I, again, I have to do my, my hem here still, so I left myself a little pocket. You see that it's got a nice clean finish there between the two bindings. And I couldn't insert this into my attachment, so you saw me do this section by hand. It just takes a little more care. But yeah, so now I'm going to finish off the other side. Okay, so now I'm just finishing, and by the, finishing the ends of the binding by folding them under. If you cut a little kind of roof shape into it, then it'll fold under easy and you won't have little corners sticking out. Okay, so with that we have our suspension straps now binded. Later in the series I'll show you the finishing touches of doing your adjustable sternum strap.